Hello, my Zentangle friends. This is Barbara Langston, CZT, Certified Zentangle Teacher, and welcome to a session of Not Perfect Zen. It's good to be back and doing a video for you. Um, it's been a few weeks because most of you know I started uh, chemotherapy and radiation therapy. I'm two weeks into it now, and I can say, for the most part, I'm feeling better today, good enough to do this. Uh, one thing about radiation therapy is it just drains the energy out of your body. But um, I'm learning a lot. I know I have a lot of people sending me love and prayers and positive thoughts, and I appreciate that so much. So um, in my last video, I showed toward the end of the video this card. This is just a thigh tile and I used this really thin masking tape to make this, uh, these lines, and then before pulling off the masking tape we just color on it, or tangle on it rather. I used gel pens here. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you how I did this and I will try to remember to put a link to the video that I watched but I actually saw it on Pinterest and I'm not sure if I have an actual link to her video but this was not original to me just saying. Okay so I have been making these cards. Let me show you the other ones that I've done. I meant to send them out as Christmas cards, but didn't because I wanted to do this video first. So after this, I will be sending these out to a few people. So there's that one. Um, this one was done with Hollis and then just little curly cues. Uh, this one is done with Flux. This one was just little stars with gold jelly roll in the middle. All right, so let me show you how I did it. This is a piece of paper from this sketchbook. Let's see if I can get this in there. It, it, I bought it at Walmart and it was such a good price I couldn't pass it up. It's nine by 12 and it's, um, 185 GSM, and it's it's pretty good. I mean, I cut it to size as I need it for watercolor or just tangled tiles, and um, I really like it. So this is seven inches by five inches, and it's an actual card, so it's 10 inches across this way. And I went ahead and did this ahead of time. I just decided where I wanted the bottom of my tree to be. So I put a piece of this masking tape across there. Kind of found the center and put two across here. So what I want to do is make one similar to this. I have already cut my little pieces of masking tape so you don't have to Watch me struggle with that. And then we just randomly put these across our little triangle that we made. It doesn't matter how you do these. There is no right or wrong. Across here. Okay. And we're going to put one across here. Okay? So, one, two, three, four. We put four on there. Uh, this one, I, I did five. But, like I said, this is your art. Do it the way that you would like it. Um, the tools I'm going to use next... Um, this is an Artist Loft watercolor dual tip marker. 
so it has a brush on one end and then like a marker tip on that end. And all we're going to do is carefully stay within the tape here in the middle. And I'm not worrying about getting this perfect. Okay. Okay, I'm going to come back over this with a watercolor brush, so, or a water brush. So I'm just showing you that you don't have to worry about it. Um, you could do this actually with watercolors, which is how I did a couple of those. Um, you could do colored pencils. You could do watercolor pencils and then use the water brush on them. And this is a mixed media paper, so it does well with these brushes and watercolor. Okay, so I'm not doing that perfectly. And the next thing I'm going to use is just a water brush. So this is filled with water in this barrel. And then I have a little towel here. And I'm going to squeeze this to get the water coming down. And it is. Okay. And now I'm just going to go over this and kind of smooth it out. because that was a watercolor marker that I used. I'm just kind of even it a little bit. This is a tree. That's not meant to be perfect. Okay. And especially after we put the tangles on there, it'll, it'll be fine. You could just uh, put a different tangle in each one of these. I think I'm going to make this, well, I'm not sure. <laughs> just trying to make it look kind of even. Okay, down here. These Artist Loft markers were a pretty good price. I've had them for a few years now. I'm still working. And I think I got them at Amazon. Okay, I'm afraid I'm going to overwork this paper, so how about that? Looks kind of muddy here, so let's just kind of even that out a little bit. And I'm going to come up here. I got that wet and then picked up a little bit of it because it seemed a little bit darker than the rest. Okay, let's just go with that. And it looks kind of muddy on your, or on the screen, but um, a little bit better in person. I do have a heat gun and I'm going to just lightly dry it. You could just let it sit on your table and air dry.
Okay, just make sure it is dry. I don't think it's wet, but I'm just also getting it off the tape. Okay, I did come off over here. You could use a white jelly roll if you happened to go too far. Okay, I am going to use a Micron PN, and then I'm gonna decorate a little bit. This is the closest I have to red in a jelly roll. It's kind of fluorescent, but I just wanna show you what we can do. And then a gold jelly roll. And the pattern we're gonna use is Ibex. This is not uh, a published tangle, but it is from Zen Tangle, and it's in my CZT Zenthology. And I'm hoping it's going to show up. And I'm going to start. These are just starting similar to Printemps. And then you just come away from that and do that again. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and make these little things in the center because that's where I'm going to add some uh, of the color. Let's see. Oops, sorry. I'm trying to zoom in. Okay, there we go. Okay, so with Ibex, once you put down one of these spirals, then you come off of that and do it again. And if you're on top of the tape, just keep going. So let's do one that comes off of this side and come out this way. And then we're gonna, let's come off of this edge. Make another little spiral. You can start a new one wherever you want. So let's go here. And sometimes I go rogue <laughs> and do it in the other direction. And that's okay. I just want a lot of swirls on here. And let's bring one off of here. So we're just going to continue adding these. You don't have to make them all the same size. We could have one come off of here that's little. Another one here. Okay, we come off at this edge and put one. And then we're just gonna keep going up with this. So let's come off of here. Then off of this one. Okay. I'm going to come off of this one. Uh, the lady that did the video did uh, just leaves. 
a variety of leaves, and it was really pretty. Okay, let's come off of this one. And then let's start a new one here. This one's a little bigger. And then I'm going to swirl the other way. There is no right or wrong on <laughs> this pattern. Just play with it and make little print on swirls of different sizes. Let's come off this one. And it is a kind of a cool effect when um, it goes outside the border, but you don't see that, just like we did here. Okay, get to the top. You can fill these with any pattern. Let's start a new one here. And I'm going to go back the other way. Okay, and then come off of this one. Let's come off of that one. Didn't connect there, did I? Okay. Um, let's go this way. This one's not gonna show much. And we'll just start a new one here. And we'll do a small one here. Okay. Now you could come back in here and put, um, let's put one here where you see spaces. Okay. Now let's come back out. All right, so what we're gonna do now is remove the tape. And with washi tape or painter's tape or any kind of masking tape, if you'll take it like I have it here, bend it, and then pull like that, you're less likely to tear your paper. Okay? So let's remove our masking tape. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I think it's fun how this looks. All right. And that one's on top. Let's get that one up. And kind of, oops, bend it at an angle. All right, and then same here. All right, and then last one. And if you have a white gel pen, which I don't have with me right now, you could go over that, or you could put a little something next to the tree to make it 
have some more detail. So let's add the gold jelly roll. Oh, you can't see the label on this one. I've had this one a long time, but it's the, the gold metallic. And it's always good to get another tile and just get your jelly roll working. Make sure it's flowing. And with all jelly roll pens, if you just barely put your pen down, you'll get a good flow. Let's see if you can see that. Again, this green looks super dark on the screen, but it's not so bad here in person. So I'm just going to go along and add these little gold sparkles. I don't think I'm going to do the red just because it's so fluorescent looking. And remember when you use a jelly roll pen, that it's going to stay wet for a while. So I'm um, making sure I don't put my hand where I've already put the jelly roll. Okay. I'm giving you just a simple starting idea. And I know that you can take this idea and run with it. It might have been better with a little bit lighter green, kind of like this one, but it's still okay. It's still fun. It's your art, it's unique to you, and when you send it out to family and friends, they're going to love it. Okay, again, be careful not to touch any of these. My channel is not perfect. Zen, my art is not perfect. And when I let go of the need for perfection, I enjoy what I'm doing so much more. Don't compare, don't worry, just enjoy what you're doing. Okay. Now, the next thing is if you want to put a trunk down here, I'm just going to put a little wavy line. <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? Okay, so maybe it looks like it's been snowing. And about down the center, it's about center. We're gonna come down and down. And I kinda like how that one turned out. So I'm just going to put some little curves all the way down. All right, and then you could add a little bit of shading on each side. This is a graphite pencil. And then with our tortillon, our blending stump, 
we're going to just push that graphite toward the center, but not all the way to the center. <clears throat> and this is going to help us to have that rounded look on the trunk. <laughs> this didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted it to. It's a little bit dark, but you can see from these how they'll turn out, okay? This has different color um, jelly roll pins on it. Again, this was a green similar to this, and then I filled it with something similar to Ibex. And then here's this one. And here it is with Flux. And there was my inspiration. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you're having happy holidays. And um, I can't say when I'll get another video done. It took me a while to get up the energy to get this one done. But um, it may be February. I don't know. I just have to take it a day at a time. But uh, thanks again for your love, for your support. I love you guys. And uh, I'll be back again, I promise. Have a very happy holiday season. And I will see you next time. Bye!